to Teachable Moments with April. I wanted to talk about um, during the quarantine uh, last year, uh, around this time, um, I went through a certain period in which I thought that I would lose my employment and I started to look outside the box at other ways of making money from home. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple, Podcasts, and many, many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place, and that's what I love about it. When I came across it, actually on Spotify, and I thought so, I, I, I'd always been wondering how to do it, how to uh, make that transition into it. And um, Anchor has made it so easy, and I am so glad that I have found it, and I've started my podcast for my social skills group, and hopefully I can use it for my students as well in my class. So download the free Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get started. Welcome back to Teachable Moments with April. So like I was saying, um, around this time last year during the quarantine at the beginning of the pandemic, um, I started to wonder if I would still have my regular employment at where I worked because it looked like everything was changing and everything was kind of up in the air. And I kind of stumbled across this, as with all things with me, it wasn't something that I um, consciously looked out for at first. Um, I kind of came across it, and I came across it on YouTube. I don't remember the young lady's YouTube channel, but she was talking about side hustles. And for me, I figured it probably would be a main hustle if I lost my job, that the landscape Uh, economic landscape due to the pandemic would be different, that people would be um, confined to their homes for long periods of time, and it started out looking like that, um, and that I still need to make some form of income. So welcome back to Teachable Moments with April. So we're talking about um, how I came across um, a young lady's um, YouTube channel. And I forget her name. I'll try to get it so that you guys can um, look at it if you would like to. Um, And she was talking about side hustles. Um, She talked about um, listening to music on Spotify to make extra money. Um, I looked into it. But I didn't, I didn't uh, make the requirements for that. So anyway, there was one in particular that I did, I was very interested in, and it was called ACX.com, and it has to do with um, audiobooks um, um, for Audible's, Amazon, and iTunes. And basically, what you would do is you would go on, like with anything, and create a profile, giving all your information. Um, you can even um, record to your profile like a sample. You could read something. I forget how many minutes it has to be. Not not many minutes, um, but kind of give like a taste of what you have to offer. I didn't do that, um, but I did start to look um, at um, different types of scripts. So each author will have like a script that you'll read um, for the um, audition. So for the audition, you would pick a certain script and you would read it and then you would save it. 
and you would uh, submit it and you would wait um, for the author to uh, contact you if they were interested in your particular sound. You can pick the genre, you can pick the duration of the project, um, You, if you have certain accents, um, if you speak another language, if you're only interested in certain types of materials or novels, whether it be horror, science fiction, self-help, Christian, if you both accept um, the contract, once the author has um, contacted you, you'd be known as the narrator or the producer. Another term they would use for you is the actor. You guys can discuss how much you will get paid and then you will um, electronically uh, sign the contract. so far in this particular process um, due to other uh, circumstances I didn't go further with it I didn't go forward with it Um, but I do hope to um, to revisit it and I hope soon there are some things that I would have done differently Um, this time around I would have did more research and the ACX dot com. They have a YouTube channel, and they have um, actual like a master class as well as a basic class for those who want to learn how to do these things that you're going to need to know in order to be a narrator uh, for their service. And I didn't do that. I, as always, do things in reverse and. Um, I think if I were to do it this time, I would do it the right way versus in a rush because I felt like I had to do it in a rush because of income. I was afraid, a little bit afraid, I'm going to be honest, I was a little bit afraid that I would not have a job and I wanted to get it up and going. Basically, what I want to say is, is that you just don't do what I did. Okay, learn from my mistakes <laughs> and do your research. Um, look at the videos that are also on their website, but also on YouTube, and look into a, a quality uh, microphone. Um, I took the cheap way out because that's how I am, and because money, I figured money was, you know, of the essence. So. Your microphone doesn't have to be uh, expensive. Um, it, it can be a very, you know, just a regular, you know, bare bones, um, uh, noise cancellation, uh, condenser kind of microphone. Um, it's also, you can have something that's, I don't want to use the word, but cheap, but if you don't know how to use the microphone, there, there's so much out there, resources, people that are actually make a living at this full time, not necessarily ACX, but they do podcasts, they do all kinds of things that require their voice, and you can do it for the low low. You don't have to, it doesn't have to cost you a lot, and there's a lot of tricks of the trade, um, using stuff from around your home or wherever you're at. Some people travel a lot and they uh, use their voice. They're showing from like hotel rooms and bed and breakfasts and stuff like that. It just, it was just, it's just so much out there um, that you can look into and research and you don't have to have a lot of, you don't have to spend a lot of money because it's the whole point. If you're doing it for extra money or as your main um, income, you don't want to be spending all this money that you really should be keeping. That's the whole point of it you know, making money if you need money, um, different ways of doing it. And that's also very important. Talking into a microphone, you can have the most expensive microphone and not know how to use it. Okay. The angle where it's placed, um, near you, 
makes the world of difference. It, it's just mystifying to me because I don't have a background in that. My um, For those who entertain, people who um, are singers, play instruments, are announcers, they probably already know these things. I'm none of those things. That's also why I um, looked into this to doing podcasts uh, here on Anchor is because um, I felt like I needed to get more um, experience um, because it is something that I'm interested in and I never um, really thought about it um, before um, in, in the past. But I feel like by doing this, these podcasts will get me more experience, what works, what doesn't work. So that when I did go back and try to do um, audiobooks or whatever other type of, of voice work, that this would lay down a, a good foundation. I'd be more comfortable. And I feel like I am getting a bit more comfortable uh, with with this, I try to do as many um, podcast episodes as I can. Um, it helps with um, learning how to edit your your content, which I'm still working on. This is something that I haven't mastered even even a little. But I feel like with all things, just like the name of this podcast, <laughs> Teachable Moments, that I will hopefully learn many things. I hope it's many things that I will learn and for the better. definitely revisit this subject matter because there are other things that I do want to talk about that I did learn when I was auditioning um, uh, regarding the type of microphone that I use, pop screens, um, the certain rooms that you use in your house, the acoustic that that's in it that I didn't, (laughs) I wasn't aware of and how it would turn out. Uh, if you have other electronic devices, even a TV or radio that's inside of your home and you are recording, even if these things are off, that they can affect um, the audio to your voice work. The unfortunate thing also was that it happened to be during the time during the summer as it got as it got hot when I started to do this. And unfortunately, um, there seemed to be uh, weeks and months of fireworks, and they were relentless. Um, it made my it made my job and my audition trying to get these auditions out without all of that noise, like I was uh, in a third world country, uh, very challenging. Mm-hmm. 